in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. One word from God can change your life forever. Welcome to Life in the Word with Pastor Chuks Ozabon. We are now in union with Christ. We have His life and His nature, enabling us to live like Him. Your life will not be a testimony. It will be a testimony to the fact that Jesus died and rose again. It will be a testimony to the fact that the curse is broken, the curse is defeated, and the blessing is operational. It will be a testimony to the fact that we are not of this world. It will be a testimony to the fact that our God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we could ever ask or think according to the power of us. God's word says, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Hallelujah. We have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand. The Amplified says, in which we firmly and safely stand. What is grace? Unmerited favor. Hallelujah. The New Living Translation puts that verse this way. It says, because of our faith, God has brought us to the place of undeserved privilege. Say with me, I am privileged. <laughs> Glory to God. And then Galatians 3.13, the Bible says, Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, be made a curse for us. For it is written, cost is every man that hanged upon a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles, and the woman received the promise of the Spirit through faith. Praise the Lord. Now this tells you the principal reason why Christ redeemed us is to bring us into the blessing of Abraham. The blessing is our inheritance. It's an empowerment to prosper, to do well and be well. An empowerment to prosper, to do well and be well and succeed in all things. Say with me, I am blessed. Yes. Hallelujah. We are redeemed from the curse. I need, I need you to mark your consciousness with this truth. That you are redeemed from the curse. Redeemed from ancestral curses. Generational family causes, bloodline causes, and all that hogwash. You are redeemed. None of those things is a match for the finished work of Christ. Hallelujah to Jesus. Anybody teaching you otherwise is telling you a lie. Glory to God. The curse is an empowerment to fail. It always attracts defeat. In spite of your best efforts. But the blessing is an empowerment to succeed. With minimum efforts. Because it has been paid for and guaranteed by the perfect sacrifice of Jesus at Calvary. The curse manifests as poverty, sickness and death. The good news is that it has been defeated at Calvary. The dominant force in your life now is not a curse. No matter the family you came from. The dominant force in your life now is the blessing of Abraham. It is wired into your nature. Praise Jesus. You are blessed. As a child of God, understand you cannot be cursed. You are redeemed from the curse and you are blessed. Numbers 22 verse 12. God said to Balaam, Thou shalt not curse the people, for they are blessed. Hallelujah. I hear me. There is no need to fear. And the curse has been defeated. You are redeemed from it. I need you to mark your consciousness with it. Why? This is the year of walking in the blessing. Without measure, you are blessed empowered anointed to succeed to be fruitful multiply replenish the earth subdue it and have dominion now make these statements with boldness 
Are you ready? Say with me, Father, I thank you because I am blessed beyond every curse and the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. Therefore, today I take authority over every visible and invisible factor hanging around my life that manifests as repeated failure, that manifests as long-standing sickness, as financial hardship, as constant defeat, as medical impossibilities, or any other dimension of the cause. I rebuke you and I destroy your oppression in any area of my life. Now, in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will no longer manifest in my life because the blessing makes me rich. The blessing makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it. In the name of Jesus, now lay hands upon yourself and pray. Our Lord and our God, I join my faith with Augusta and with every man and woman in this church today. I come in agreement with those that watch us on television and those that hear me on radio. Our Lord, we declare that we are blessed. We stand on the truth of the word of God. We are blessed beyond every curse concerning me and my household in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, I rejoice because the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. Therefore, I refuse to suffer again in the name of the Lord Jesus. Today, by the word of faith, I take authority over every visible and invisible factor hanging around my life that manifests like the curse, that manifests as repeated failure, that mocks my best efforts, every long-standing sickness, I take authority over you. Every financial hardship, every pattern of loss, every pattern of defeat and failure at the edge of breakthrough, whatever rises to abort my dream at the place of success, every medical impossibility, in the name of the Lord Jesus, today we rebuke you. We rebuke in the name of the Lord Jesus. We destroy your oppression. Every visible manifestation, we judge you. We command the fire of the Spirit of God to locate you. We lift up a standard of the blood of Jesus against any oppression of the curse. 2014 is the year of the blessing. We refuse to accommodate the curse in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I command, you will no longer manifest in any area of my life. I am blessed beyond every curse. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Lord, I rejoice because the blessing makes me rich and has no sorrow with it. Yes, Lord. We join our faith and we proclaim the blessing upon every month of 2014. We bless January. We bless February. We bless March. We bless April. We bless, we bless, we bless May, June, July. We bless August. We bless September, October, November, and December. We prophesy every month of this year will agree with the perfect plan of God for our lives. I decree no sorrow, no defeat, no loss no sickness, no backwardness in the name of the Lord Jesus we declare the blessing Lord we prophesy as a family that we walk in the blessing without measure, we claim our healing, we claim our deliverance we claim our progress we claim our restoration in the name of the Lord Jesus thank you Father in Jesus name brethren it is your right to live free from the curse. Can I say it again? It is your right to live in freedom from the curse. Because of the cross, Jesus gave you the blessed life that he deserved. Glory to God. You are blessed. Hallelujah. Can I pray over you? Do you mind? This is the beginning of the year. Let me speak some things over your life. John 10.10 10. The Bible says The thief cometh not But for to steal To kill and to destroy But I am come That they may have life And have it more abundantly Therefore today I stand on the righteousness of Jesus 
and I proclaim the blessing upon you, upon your marriage, upon the work of your hands, upon your business, your career, your finances, all your bank accounts. I proclaim the blessing upon your household, the bed upon which you sleep in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, I cover you and all that pertains to you with faith. And I decree that success, outstanding success, shall be your testimony this year in the name of Jesus. I arrest and I neutralize every maneuver of the enemy, visible or invisible, to steal in any area of your life, to kill or to destroy in any area of your life this year. It will not happen. In your environment, your marriage, your business, there shall be no loss. There shall be no breaking and entering. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we take authority over every demonic force, feeding of your virtue any force trading with your virtues we arrest them today we take authority over them we bind whatsoever is stealing your harvest whatsoever kills opportunities around you whatsoever destroys your best efforts anything that destroys your seed before it matures to a harvest we arrest it today every step you take will produce a miracle in the name of the Lord Jesus Success is your testimony. Can I say it again? Success is your testimony. Please try and sit down. Thank you, our Father. Every activity of hell is hereby destroyed. I see testimonies already. Testimonies already. Glory to God. Brethren, trust God this year. Trust God. Things are not going to follow the natural order concerning you. It will not. I've seen it. Just trust God. Set your hopes on God. You will not have to beg any man or depend on any man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. People are going to seek your favor. Because of the uncommon results you are going to manifest. They will seek your hand in friendship. Forget those that despised you. God is rewriting the script. Somebody say thank you Jesus. It's a brand new year. New opportunities new faith, new revelation, new strength, a new anointing and a new level of wealth. Would you say amen? amen? Glory to God. Today we are talking about do not limit God. The unlimited God. Hallelujah. Before the end of January, somebody is receiving a brand new car, free of charge. If that is you, shout Hallelujah. Free of charge. Your struggles are over. Glory to God. Do not limit God. Do not limit God. Hallelujah. Again, I pray over you. I arrest every pattern of defeat in your life. Every seasonal problem that used to happen. We command that pattern broken. We speak into the heavens. We deprogram the programming responsible for demonic patterns of loss. I prophesy over your life that the heavens will declare only the glory of God in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I decree, I release you from every act of self-sabotage. Whatever you have done, affecting your destiny negatively, will reverse it with the word of faith. I proclaim the blessing over your life you will not lose again in Jesus name glory to God brand new year do not limit God Psalm 78 let's read verse 41 are you there everybody two three go yeah they turned back and tempted God 
and limited the Holy One of Israel. Wow. They turned back and tempted God and limited the Holy One of Israel. Now look up, everybody notice. The devil didn't turn them back. They turned back. Notice, as an act of their will, they chose not to pursue destiny. They turned back. That will not be your testimony in Jesus' name. God's what says, they turned back. Meaning, they left the place of faith or the position of faith and tempted God. Hallelujah. When you stop walking by faith, you limit God. Anytime you step outside faith, you place a limit on what God can do with you and for you. Notice, not the devil. They turned back. Glory to God. Matthew 13 verse 58. God's word says, he could do no mighty works there because of their unbelief. Not because of some old time, some village or some ancestral covenant in the family that has not been broken. No, simply because of unbelief. Hallelujah to Jesus. A corresponding scripture, Matthew 17 in the 19th verse. Prior to verse 19, the disciples had been trying to cast out one small devil all day. And they couldn't. So when Jesus came, they were sincere enough to ask him, Master, why couldn't we cast him out? Jesus was clear. He said to them, because of your unbelief. So we can actually turn that question this way. Master, why is my dream not producing? Master, why am I not yet married? Master, why am I not making progress? Because of your unbelief. Not some devil somewhere. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hear me. Anything you see anywhere can happen anywhere. God can produce Microsoft in your life. God can produce Apple computers in your life. God can reproduce another die data. God can raise a franchise from you. Anything you see anywhere can happen anywhere. Hebrews 3, God's word says, He that built all things is God. That means anything you see anywhere, it can happen anywhere. Simply believe. Glory to God. Stay in faith and walk in expectation of what the blessing can do. Faith connects you to the blessing and the unlimited power of God. Hear me, good people. We serve an unlimited God. We serve an unlimited God. By reason of the personal encounters I've had with God's goodness, I've created a name for God. He could be Jehovah Sid Kenu. He could be Jehovah Elohim. But I call him Jehovah Unlimited. There is nothing God cannot do. Hallelujah. Understand as well, the blessing upon your life is unlimited. Except it does not have the spiritual resources to work with. What are those resources? Hope, faith, and love. When hope and faith and love are in place, all things become possible. We serve an unlimited God. Always walk in expectation of the blessing to make you fruitful. Not some hospital. Expect the blessing to make you fruitful. To multiply your substance. Empower you to subdue anything. Replenish the earth and walk in dominion. Friends, do not limit God. The Bible says they turn back. Get this. Not that the devil turned them back. They chose to. Glory to God. By the word of God, you will not turn your back on your inheritance in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. They turned back. Why? They took their eyes off the word of God and then stopped the blessing from walking as it should. They took their eyes off the promise. Now, how did they limit God? That same Psalm 78. Look at verses 19 up until 21. Read with me from, from verse 18. Let's read. It says, And they tempted God in their heart by asking meat for their lost. Verse 19 read, Yeah, they spake against God. They said, Can God furnish a table in the wilderness? 
Behold, he smote the rock that the waters gushed out and the streams overflowed. Can he give bread also? Can he provide flesh for his people? God's word says in verse 21, Therefore the Lord heard this. Hallelujah to Jesus. So how did they limit God? Two key ways. Watch this now. They limited God by their small thinking. By a negative self-image. Negative thinking. And by negative speech. The unlimited God was limited. How? Small thinking and wrong speech. Write this down if you can. Small thinking and wrong speech is the burial ground of most dreams. You talk wrongly, you think wrongly. Your dream dies. Life and death are still in the power of the tongue. So your words decide which dreams live and which dreams die. Not the devil. Somebody say thank you Jesus. Understand God has provided the best for you already. But your thinking and your choice of words. Can I say this again? Your thinking and your choice of words must line up with the plan of God for your dream to come true. Hallelujah to Jesus. Your thinking and your choice of words must line up with his will for you to possess your own land that flows with milk and with honey. Notice they speak against God. And they said, can God furnish a table in the wilderness? After seeing all the signs and all the wonders he did. They still ask, can he give bread? Can he provide flesh for his people? Write this down again. Whenever you doubt the promises of scripture, you are speaking against God. You know why? Your thoughts equate to speech in the presence of God. God hears your heart. Hallelujah to Jesus. Friends, do not limit God. When some of you think or question in your heart, and you say something like, can I still marry at the age of 48? Can I still have children at 46 with my fallopian tubes gone? Can I still have children after so many miscarriages? Oh, I just came out of jail. I have a terrible record. Can I get a job in this land? You are speaking against God. Understand? A bad credit record cannot limit God. He is Jehovah unlimited. Some will be tempted to ask now, look at all the depths around me. Can I ever come out of debt? Or some will say, I failed so many times. Will my dream ever come true? Or some would even say, oh no, it is too late for me. I'm past age now. I've made too many mistakes. There is no need to dream. You are speaking against God. We serve an unlimited God. Try and write this down and hear me, good people. I'm speaking with excitement. Your circumstances or your past or your environment, no matter how terrible they are, do not limit God. They cannot limit God. He is the almighty, almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. Nothing can limit God. No door can close against God. I tell the people of God, if a door closes against you, that means God wanted it closed. If God wants to open a door, all the forces of hell combined cannot close the door against the almighty God. Nothing can limit God. He is Jehovah unlimited. Hallelujah. There is no door that can close against God. There is no situation that God cannot change. And there is no battle that God has not won. This is why I don't use that scripture in 2 Chronicles 20 where it says the battle is the Lord. Which battle? Jesus has the victory. Under the old covenant, the battle was still the Lord's. In the new covenant, it is no longer the Lord's. We have the victory. We 